I'm Emily Cook. I teach at Westside Collaborative and I teach sixth and eighth grade. First thing I want you to take out is your reader's notebooks and a pen or a pencil. And I want you to take out those media logs that you have been working on. Today we are going to do a, a lesson on media and the student's use of media. The lesson is going to align to the Common Core Standards in a lot of ways. They're going to be doing a lot of critical thinking. They're going to be doing a lot of writing, a lot of discussion and collaboration with each other. And they're even going to do a little math today and graphing. The question is, what does digital media mean? What does it mean to you? What I usually start with is having the students just kind of warm up a little bit, quick little brainstorm. And that's always how we start our class out. What I would like to see you do now just at your tables, a lot of you are in groups of twos and in groups of threes, and just go ahead and share with each other, okay? What, what does digital media mean? Electronics, like in general, like you use computers, laptops, and music What did you guys come up with? Digital media. Kenny, what do you think? Use of technology. Okay, so technology and how you use it. I like that. Alasia. Electronics like cameras, cell phones, laptops. Okay, so kind of anything electronics. Anything different? Digital media? Musa? Internet. Yeah, that's always kind of what pops right into my mind. Software. Yeah, using like internet, computer. Yeah, excellent. Okay, so you guys pretty much nailed it, all right? And we're going to be kind of talking about how you guys use your digital media. They had homework from the night before, so they just went home for an entire day and logged in all of their media use. So here's what we're gonna do. I wanna know how much you guys use. We're going to pretty much compile the data. Individually, look at your own data. How many hours do you spend on each of these things? And then together in partners, put together your hours and see how much media and what kind of different medias is each pair using. What you guys are going to do is you're going to have to um, add up all of your total time spent in each of these sections. Since we're working in hours, you have to do a little bit of math. It's a little bit tricky. All you do is you take the number of minutes and you divide that by 60, okay? So I know that 15 minutes equals, not a full hour, it equals 0.25 hour. So take a minute and I just want you to Go ahead, add yours up. That's crazy how I get 1.8, you got 6.5. 2. Perfect. That's exactly how you do it. Mm, what's 0.5 plus 0.5? 30 minutes plus 30 minutes. It's one hour. We mostly have to add all of our time up from cell phones to TV then to internet. And she's trying to make us see how much we spend on watching TV or doing other things. So now this is where it's going to get kind of interesting. You're gonna bar graph this. Yeah. It's a visual representation of this media use, which is very valuable because I think it makes that bigger impact for them. Excellent. Together, together. You guys are ready? We use just cell phones a day for two hours and 44 um, minutes. Watch TV for five hours and nine minutes a day. Go on the internet for an hour and 30 minutes. Every time I'm saying, oh, I don't use that much electronics. But now by learning this, it sees how much electronics I use. It's a lot. Like, my mom knows it, but I don't think it was that too much. And then, like, lay off sometimes off of the electronics and try and read more. That's time! All right. You guys are done? Yes? Okay. Come up and explain to us, Alicia, your media use, please. We use cell phones like 466, so that was like kind of almost five. So almost five hours like on cell phones? Texting, calling, and like games on the phone. TV is six and a half. We watch a lot of TV. All right, maybe uh, Marie? Start with this. I thought internet was gonna be the longest. Like this is, it's like, Second to shortest, TV and DVD, I'll watch like five hours. Wow. What do you guys think? Is there anything kind of surprising about this? Yes. All mostly online people. Okay, Javon just said you're all mostly online people. I couldn't agree more. Why is this a big deal? What, 
Alaysia. Because you use it a lot and like sometimes you really don't notice, but it kind of like you do use it a lot. Jack, so you use it a lot even if maybe you don't notice. It was really yeah, amazing right. to see them kind of stop and have that oh my gosh moment, that like wow moment. I can't believe I spent you know, eight hours on the television or four hours with my phone. You just watch TV a little, you like watch news and after school you watch a lot of stuff, you use the internet. So even if you think you're just doing it like a little, yeah. all of a sudden it adds up, right? All of a sudden before you know it, you're off the chart, okay? Jack, I feel I like, comments? especially right now, they're, they're so bombarded with this all the time and it's just such a part of their lives, part of their background constantly, to have it be brought fully into their awareness and have them really face it and talk about it and think about it was incredibly valuable. 